Maybe you're familiar with that scripture. We are the clay, you are the potter. It's easy to bring to mind the image of clay on the wheel running through the guiding, strong hands of the potter. Every movement initiated in the hands is now being mimicked in the clay. But wait, hold on. This is not where our journey begins, not even close. You see, this beautiful creation will not live out its days on the potter's wheel. It will face the fires. Fire, controlled like a tool, to truly solidify what has been formed and created. The one enemy, though, to this new creation is the air concealed beneath the clay's surface. You see, tiny, unseen air bubbles reside within the clay. These air pockets are what cause the clay vessel to explode in the kiln. As the fire burns and the temperature increases, the air must escape the clay. The more air bubbles there are, the more destructive and rapid the exit is as the hot air pushes its way through the clay surface, causing the vessel to explode. So our journey doesn't begin at the potter's wheel, but with much preparation in the potter's hands. Clay must be kneaded, worked over and over. The potter must throw the clay against a canvas table, angling it to allow the canvas texture to grab and pull the clay to bring forth the invisible air pockets. Then, once the clay is placed on the wheel, again it must be physically pushed and pulled by the sturdy arms and guiding hands of the potter. This movement forcefully works the trapped air out. It's physical, unappealing work, but absolutely crucial in forming useful, workable clay. Now, the hands are free to lead the clay on the wheel, gentle yet assertive. They can now give form, meaning, and purpose to this new vessel, knowing it can stand the test of the fires. So what's the error in your life? The unwanted, hidden, maybe even trapped thing within your life that God is trying to surface and remove from you. Let the potter work it out from you. The process will be difficult, and it will be work hidden from the hands that applaud, but it will be to your benefit as well as the benefit of others. And of course, it will be to the glory of the strong yet gentle potter.